This following video clip is about to show you the basic steps to follow when installing our Icarus roof conversion. I always suggest before starting the Icarus conversion that it's important to check the vehicle for any leaks that may be occurring through the door or roof areas so that you're sure that before you've installed your roof conversion you're aware of any problem areas that may arise after the conversion is completed. Once you've checked the vehicle for any problem areas that may exist, you can then set about preparing the vehicle by either removing or covering any areas inside of the vehicle that may be susceptible to damage when stripping and removing the existing roof. Once all parts are covered, you can set about stripping the interior roof linings, seat belt mounts, anything that may be attached or affected by the fact that you're about to remove the roof. It's pretty standard procedure as to how to do this, and anyone who's done any installation work will understand what's required to remove these parts. Be sure when removing all interior window linings, sun visors, mirror mounts, and etc that you hang on to all those parts and keep them safe as part of that equipment will be reinstalled on the installation of the new roof. One needs to be sure that you strip all the existing wiring that may be attached to the, to the roof, the existing roof, along with water lines for the back window washer and, and plug points that may be attached and joined to the rear wiring. You will need to cut the line to the rear plug as it will not, the loom will not slide out of the existing roof and rejoin it once the new roof is back in position. You can then set about the tedious task of unbolting the many bolts that bolt the roof down to the A-frame, the A-pillars, the B-pillars and some of the gutter lengths that run down the vehicle. You will then need to cut the glue line that joins the windscreen frame to the roof. Apply caution when doing so as it's a thick strong layer of glue that bonds the roof to the windscreen frame. We use a carpet, a carpet knife or a Stanley knife as they call it. Just be careful when cutting that you don't cut the paint off the windscreen frame. Once the glue line is cut you will need to lever the and force the roof to lift the away from the last part of binding glue. Then with the help of others, if you have others to help, or using a forklift, you may be able to strap and lift the entire roof off the vehicle. Part one of the job is now complete. You will then need to set about cleaning off the remaining glue that sits on the top of the window frame, and possibly any dust and dirt that may have gathered in the areas along the top edges of doors and so on, in order for you to be able to glue the new roof down into place. You will then need to place the new Icarus roof conversion in the position of the old roof and make sure that it is seating nicely in place, getting all your corners squared and in the right position for you to start marking your drilling points for the new roof. Once you've marked and drilled all your holes, we sometimes even like to just bolt, drop the bolts in the front end to be sure that we are in the right position and that the back end is ready for you to drill. Once that is drilled and we're satisfied that we've marked and drilled all holes, we then remove the roof conversion in order for us to clean up and prep with glue to place for one final time. Now we can clean away all the shavings and start the task of applying all the adhesive to the top edges where the new roof conversion it will seat down and seal in position. Be sure in the windscreen area to apply at least three layers of glue to help to prevent the chance of any wind or water blowing through between roof and windscreen area. 
It is very important when lowering the roof into position that you make sure that you try to land in as square a position as possible in order to prevent as little mess as possible um, by shifting the roof around to try and locate it in the right and final position. Once you are certain that the Icarus roof conversion is now in the correct position, you can start the task of bolting it down tight. While bolting down the roof, you can also set about replacing the door seals and checking all doors are fitting correctly and are lining up. You will notice that there is no angle or aluminium for you to mount the door seals at the top of the doors on the front two doors. These angles we supply separately and you will need to drill and rivet these in position, applying glue behind the plates once you have fitted the roof. This way you can align the rubber door seal mount with the existing Land Rover's door seal mount area. Now you can set about installing your map shelf and sun visors. This should be simple as you have pre-drilled the holes so it should easily bolt into position. It is important to drill up at the front area where the sun visor will mount. Using the existing holes from the sun visor, we recommend a 7mm hole which will help to allow you to mount the roof console when fitting the final parts. At the rear end there are two helper shocks that drop into these steel brackets. The bracket holes are pre-drilled on our Icarus conversion. You will need to bolt those in position and that will give you a direct indication as where you need to drill and bolt. If you wish to mount the Alucab shutter on, we have special brackets that we supply in order to do this. These are fairly easy and obvious as to where they would fit. You position the rear corner bracket into place, mark the holes and drill out and bolt in position. The front would then be fitted in accordance with the rear mounting bracket. So mount the back end first and you are able to then mark and drill the front end. Once you've completed bolting down your roof conversion and mounting your awning, you can then bolt in the internal panels that close off the roof conversion and give it a nice finished look. You have now basically completed the job and just need to put back the original plastics that were removed. Some may need some trimming in parts where they do not 100% line up with the new conversion. By now you should have successfully fitted your Land Rover Icarus roof conversion. All that's left to do is to pull the vehicle outside, pop open your roof, fit in your spring poles and see how well your new roof conversion works. If you're also lucky enough to install the 270 degree awning then I would suggest that you Zip it open, swing it out and check just how easily it is to set up and set down. So now that you have your Icarus conversion installed, get out there and get camping. <laughs>